You're back. You're back for the details of what we all think about Venom. Yeah. Why he likes it, why she likes it, and why I think you're all freaking nuts. Miscast Entertainment, spoiler review right now. Here's Tony. I love the smell of my cup in the morning. Boat. You came back, you miscast misfits, to another episode of Miscast Spoiler Reviews with your host, JJ. That's me. I came back. I did it again to watch the movie. I'm here. Let's talk about it. You're doing it. Yes. You're doing it. I'm doing it big time. Right on. This is our guest host, Daisy Von Dutch. Woo! In the house, wearing some miscast merch. Nice. nice. Yeah, that's good stuff. Hell yeah. But not as awesome as William Davis Moore. <laughs> right here, yo. <laughs> so let's get right into it. Uh, we did all the preliminary crap with the, uh, you know, Tom Hardy, Michelle Williams. Uh, we didn't even talk about Riz, but who cares? I care. Yeah? I all thought right. he was amazing in this movie. You did? Yeah, I want to talk about him. All right. He was in Rogue One. Yes. He was Bodhi. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, he was good in that movie. He was great. He was, uh, he was better in this one, I got to say. I thought his character was shit really yeah no i thought he did a really good job of portraying this sort of like uh super billionaire you know like villain and really uh, yeah i thought man I th you're so opposite of everything i thought really? you would think and i am totally on the side of what i thought you would be i and that's natural i, I, I thought he was the like he, i thought he was the best cast person in the movie oh my god yeah oh oh yeah. my god agree with that i think that was I, that's accurate in my opinion <laughs> oh man can i stop to like go poop because my bowels <laughs> you know you know who i thought was poorly cast <laughs> uh jenny you slate little freaking marijuana in your system and then you watch this movie then you'll love it hey we're in florida and we have rick douche nugget that's illegal we yeah, do not do it's marijuana like we, it's it's flavored tobacco if anything I bet you Venom was a lot more fun. <laughs> it was fucking awesome. I loved it. I'm on the page here with JJ. I thought it was a great movie, man. But you know, he, they they listed this movie only number 33 as like a, a good comic book evil character on Empire's 50 Greatest uh, Comic Book Characters. What I loved about this movie, I'll tell you one thing. Okay, so obviously... And in the final credit, the fi there's there's two like post credit scenes. In one of right. them, you learn that Carnage, Woody, play played by Woody Harrelson, yeah, Big Shark, right? It was. Um, if any other director would have taken the movie, they would have thrown Carnage into it automatically. I love the fact that the he that the director did not do that. He kept the yeah. movie very simple. The first thing that he did was that he got Brock. He showed who Brock was. And then he destroyed Brock's life. He separated Brock from any other human being. Brock had no friends and Brock had no relationship. The only relationship that Brock had in the whole movie was with Venom. And that's all that he focused on. And I really, I think that took like a lot of bravery to just focus on that. One thing that we learned from DC Universe that it was a mistake to bring in Doomsday because first off, he gave it away in the spoilers. Sure. And second of all, it kind of, you know, just kind of destroyed the story because all of a sudden, like, Doomsday appeared and he just, like, took over the whole story. Yeah, no, I agree. What I love about this movie is that it just focused on becoming a buddy movie. Awesome. I thought it was, I thought, I thought it was a very fun movie. Look, keep I, in mind, this is the this is the guy, uh, if you follow our Instagram page, that just ripped this movie a new one till it came out. Daisy. Daisy Von I I got to just cheers everybody having a little day drinking session here. It's awesome. Boom. Just saying. Um, I really was pleasantly surprised by this movie. I, I did not expect a whole lot. And like JJ here, I really didn't get into the comics a whole bunch about this movie. Um, I think if you are, like William, a diehard comic book character follower, uh, yeah, it's it might not be so symbiotic for you. Oh, I but, see what you did there. Mm -hmm. I see what you did there. <laughs> But, you know, for me, this it's created a story. It created uh, a, a character for me out of something that I knew about but didn't really know about. So I, it was cool. And at the end of the day, Venom was supposed to be this really, really gnarly 
fucked up things are. Uh, but he was cool at the end, you know? Aside from when he was like, he was a bit of a no, romantic, also. You were kidding. serious about that. Yeah, <laughs> you were really serious. Yeah, about there was. Mem- remember that there was that one part where Eddie Brock is sitting in the back seat of the car, and uh, his ex girlfriend, ex fiance, wants to like take him to the hospital, and uh, Venom's like, "Oh, I like her," you know. And then Venom is inside Brock's head, and Venom tells Brock, "Hey, listen, dude, you you never apologize for reading her email." Now, like I said, the party pooper is going to get his left out. Yeah, tell us tell us all the nerdy shit. We read all the nerdy reasons why you didn't like this movie. <laughs> let me tell you the reasons. Let me tell you guys the reasons that don't have anything to do with nerdy stuff why I didn't like this movie. Tom Hardy and Venom they did this symbiote themselves away from this crappy Sony shit and get themselves into the MCU because that's where it needs to be. Uh, the special effects were great. Let me start off with the positives. Special effects were great, amazing. There were actually scenes where I was like envious of, you know, wanting to know how they did it. There was a scene where Eddie Brock uh, went through some blue flames. Yeah. Uh, that was really cinematically done well. Uh, I remember just thinking, man, what a nicely done slow motion shot. There's no freaking blood, all right? PG-13. Give me a second. Give me a second. Don't PG-13 my ass. Don't <laughs> pigeonhole my ass. So it starts off with uh, Venom is like, part of this symbiote race that wants to eat the planet and and like within two scenes they have no dialogue he's like i love you eddie you're my favorite eddie you're awesome eddie but and, and i'm gonna violate everything that I came down here to, there was you could tell that they had carved no, out 40 venom, minutes venom was a rogue he was he never came no, down no, no, here no. to destroy you the could earth tell you could tell immediately that they carved out like tons of footage tons of storyline Tons of shit that was radar, obviously, because they didn't know what they're... Because Sony, 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 Sony fucks everything up. They didn't fuck up James Bond. The Topher Grace... Yes, they fucking did in Quantum of Solace. (laughs) (laughs) It's a a pretty good action movie. (laughs) PS4. And also about fire, by the way. Every Walkman (laughs) that's ever existed. See the world in a whole new light. Sony Walkman. The Walkman from Sony, the one and only. So Sony, again, dropped the ball. They, they completely discarded the entire uh, Venom story. So now I don't, they're like, we want to make it PG-13 so we can connect it to Spider-Man. But we're going to throw away the entire Spider-Man story. So, yeah, fuck you know, the MCU is not going to throw that away. You know, there's going to be a Secret Wars battle world. And that's where he finds... Venom. Maybe not. I don't know how you get behind this and like, oh, it's a buddy film. Because we don't care. Because keep in mind, you you are you are married. You are married to the to the to the, all the material then that make you've it, ever they, seen. Then make it radar. They make it radar so I can sure. get behind it. I would make love, it like Deadpool. I would love make it be, like Deadpool. I would love to, for it to be rated R. Because he Unfortunately he, he, it was he, not. So that is my biggest complaint. Could the movie be, have been a little better if it was rated R? Yes, absolutely. All better. All movies are better when rated R. You know who the first Venom symbiote connection was in the comics? Take a guess. James Bond. Deadpool. Spider-Man. No, I did not know that. I shit you not. Deadpool went in in Battle World first and and connected with the symbiote first. This is a Deadpool character, man, through and through. Hey, I'm double teamed. I'll, I'll stand my ground. It was a Fitzy Cup moment. You guys tell us in the deed. comments uh, who won. Obviously, it's not me on this side. Well, yeah. I want to recommend the movie to, to some people. Um, right. You know, th- there, there are a lot of cool scenes in the movie where Tom Hardy's character, uh, Brock, um, he he has this sort of like almost like involuntary uh, violence that he does to other people. Like he can't control it. Yeah, that because, was awesome. Because the actually. Venom is controlling him. Yeah, yeah, sure. There's, there's a trailer that I just saw for a movie that's coming out called upgrade and watch it because upgrades one of the best movies it, this year it looks like it's like the same thing as venom but with uh technology as opposed to an alien symbiote so check out the check out that trailer because the action sequences even though an upgrade they're a lot more stylized it seems like it's a lot better um it reminded me a lot of that movie and i kept kept thinking about that that was an underrated movie that people haven't seen yeah. that should see yeah so let's, let's show the trailer if you don't mind Right there. No. Right there. That's don't, a fun. don't laugh. That's don't a laugh. Fun. No, don't laugh. I'm going to put it right there. 
<laughs> or right there. Yeah. Over there. <laughs> We're over there. Over there, man. No, stop it. Stop. Ah, what the fuck? What's going on? All right. Let's go. Good enough for me. <laughs> I want to talk about Jenny Slate. You remember Jenny Slate in the movie? Jenny? She was Dr. Oh, Skirth. Yes. 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 She, she was, was the worst. Yeah. Right? What are you going to say? Right? I agree, but I was definitely yeah. the whole yeah. story board for it, it, me. So. If, if this was the comic book's dick, this would be William just kind of like, oh, yeah, whatever you say. Whatever you say, <laughs> comics. Whatever you say. It, it ain't going to be like this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. That, that was, was a awesome. battle episode. Battle. Boom. Battle Royale. We well should do more battle episodes. I think they're more fun. Yeah, it's actually. well. It's rare that we were so divisive yeah, on one particular usually movie. We agree. Yeah, normally we agree. Yeah, we usually. Agree. Normally, William has very good taste in movies, but I don't know what happened this time. <laughs> Daisy Von Dutch. Check Daisy Von Dutch. Hey, if you guys get a chance, watch Double D Dining with Daisy Von Dutch. Uh, great cooking videos. I've actually learned a lot about about cleavage. <laughs> but uh, yeah, watch those videos. They're really good. Really entertaining. <laughs> All right, y'all. Don't forget to check us out on miscastentertainment.com where we shoot stuff webs that sticky. We shoot sticky webs. I'm, I'm, can I shoot a web at you? Yeah. <laughs> It's gotcha. so delicious. It's like right in cotton the face. candy. Uh. <laughs> Can I shoot one of you? <laughs> sure. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> That's fucking gross, bro. <laughs> it's been a Why while. Why are you shooting webs on that shit anyway? It's been a long time. Why are you holding them up like that? Are they sacred? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to keep them clean. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Peace. Lord, we need to batter our buns. Some drawn batter, a brush. We're going to batter our buns. Yes. Just batter them. Am I not another shot? I think I should. Oh. Oh. All right, now that we have that, 